computer. I'm going to scrapbook these photos of my 17 year old son playing with a bubble wand that he found. I'm going to use these Cricut cuts from the Close to My Heart Artistry collection and I've just put those little bubbles and I cut them quite small. I cut them on the joy so um, they're probably only about four and a half inches wide. And now I'm just looking through some of my leftover bits of papers and I found this cool shimmery um, sort of transparency but with some gold and silver bits on it and grabbed out some holographic I was looking through my stash for all things sort of bubbly bright sparkly and shiny and so what I've done is I have used some of the circle thin cuts to cut out some a variety of circles from the um, from some julep glitter paper from some of the holographic paper the dreamy one um, as well as some papers from uh, happiest place and some of the past mix-ins so the paper I've got on the base there is one of the mix-ins as well and I'm just going to use all of these bits of paper just like a series of bubbles sort of all over the page so um, this was a really good project to have a go at using some of those holographic papers some of the glitter papers and things like that because bubbles have that kind of iridescent shine so it was quite a fun page to be able to do and hopefully my son isn't too frustrated that I am scrapbooking him playing with bubbles not that he probably even looks these days and so um, in the background there there's some the green and the sort of the colored bits there that is from the blue skies collection now I've trimmed my photos down to sort of a square shape uh, rather than um, I didn't want to have too many circles and uh, I'm not a great fan of circle shaped photos so I have stuck with them as squares so just having a wee bit of a play around with how they might sit what looks better thinking about the position of the bubbles and the direction that my son's facing so I've kind of gone um, with an almost triangle with where I've put the photographs um, and what I am doing here is um, just trimming out a piece from this sort of transparency paper that was gold now this must be two three years old now um, and I hadn't used it till now but um, it's kind of funky I have used it uh, some of these sheets for album covers just for um, pages but I'm going to trim down the blue um, paper here from one of the mix-ins and I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to sit it inside that sort of um, transparency frame with the silver dots on it just to add another piece of interest it doesn't really show up very well in photographs of the layout but it does look really cool in the album and um, I really like how that came so this film has sort of a sticky layer on to, uh, not a sticky layer a film layer to protect it so it doesn't get all scratched so it's in pretty good condition ready for me to attach the um, this mix in paper that I have trimmed a bit smaller so that outline can poke through now I'm using the green Tombow here because it, it is sort of an acetate um, plastic behind and I um, use this glue when I'm often not sticking paper to paper so something heavier than or a different texture than paper so just pressing that down around the edges uh, and let that dry a little bit because it will still move around uh, a bit so now I'm going to mat the photographs and so to do that I am just using the Tombow tape runner to stick them down and then I am going to just cut around the photographs to give them a little bit of a white border before uh, placing them on the page so there you can see they've got their white borders just helps to lift them off those bubbles or lift them out so that they are featured more as the story than just the bits under piece under um, the bright bubbles would take away otherwise so playing around with again the placement is similar to what I had before and just popping bits trying not to put too much of the same um, patterns near each other and all of the circles are kind of a different size so playing around with those two now I decide that I'm going to use one of the circle shaker windows in here so I have 
cut from uh, the holographic paper the top bit that I will stick down once I have put the sequins in and adhered the acetate on top. So just putting the sticker that comes in the handy dandy um, circle shape there before I am going to just sort of check that that's working. So I'm going to put into this some of the Bluebell loose sequins. Again they've got that nice iridescent look so it will um, just add to the, the whole bubble sensation. Now these little acetate circles have a film layer on them and they can be a bit fiddly to get off but similar to the uh, silver dotty paper that I put behind my patterned paper that's there. Now you can use the anti-static mat here that would help. You can see that I sort of get um, one of the sequins attaches itself to the sticky edge so I do pull out these tweezers which uh, I absolutely love having uh, however they're not currently available so just making sure that that top goes on there nicely and I'm going to again use the green Tombow glue here to stick the um, holographic ring on top so I'm just pasting that there and I'm going to just sort of let that rest for a little bit while I work out the rest of this placement and where I'm going to put that bubble. And I'm going to use the 3D foam tape just to pop up some of these circles. Um, sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background, she's talking to the cat while she cooks dinner. Uh, it's great that she's cooking dinner for all of us. So the bigger circle there's popped up and I'm just going to tuck these other ones behind. And because this is just paper to paper, I am using the blue Tombow here. Uh, I have typically uh, used uh, tape or the tape runners for a lot of this stuff, but I'm finding that the liquid glue is just so much quicker and easier. So I am putting the white, uh, the glue in around here using the Tombow green. And I've decided that I'm going to put some vellum behind these bubbles. So I'm just sticking these down onto some little trimmed down pieces of the vellum paper. And then I am going to fussy cut around the bubbles. So um, it just adds another sheen or another dimension to it rather than it just being um, just being the die cuts sort of stuck on the background there. So here I'm going to sort of curve the scissors around underneath when I cut around so that none of the acetate um, sort of peeks out. So I'm sort of angling the scissors so that um, the uh, side of the scissors that's underneath is going well down under so you can see there that I've created that looks quite cool on both sides but I am going to stick it with the die cut pieces on the top just adding wee dots of the green Tombow here and then I'm going to adhere that down onto the page and adding a few more dots that are going to peek out behind the um, dot with the photograph so Again, this is a bit of 3D foam tape just to pop the, one of those main uh, bubble circles up. And then getting ready to do that bottom right corner. Similar process, the foam tape there just to pop it up a little bit. And that is on the julep glitter paper. And just tucking in some more of these pieces in behind. It's kind of cool having that see-through edge because some of the circles do overlap but they're not overlapping the base page they're just peeking out into where there's that cool um, see-through edge around the layout so again the foam tape on the main um, piece there and sticking that down I decided it was important to make sure that stripes weren't going straight across like they are at the top at the top it, I, kept in line with my son's jumper. So now I'm sticking down that shaker circle and just popping that to the left of the layout. So I still have to stick down these photographs but I am going to use the white foam alpha to write just this really simple and obvious title of bubbles. And it's just quite nice having this texture as well because it's got that soft foaminess that you sometimes think of when you think of bubbles. So 
so there we go I've got a bit of a shimmery shine there going on and it's quite fun shaking that page around so I've just grabbed the 0 0.3 uh, journaling pen here and I'm just going to go around some of these paper circles just to add another dimension or another um, texture or shape around them so just to get into some of these bits I'm going to turn the layout around rather than do it uh, front on and just adding a bit of pen helps to lift them out because they were sort of getting a little bit lost So just thinking through all the bits and pieces that I've got and what I am going to do here next. And there we go. There is a little bit of a um, another block and it's a journal block. So what I've just gone around the edge here with is the diamond kindy glitz and that's just around some of the circles just to give a little bit more definition and interest and it does look really cool when you look at the finished page um, in real life so just adding these final touches with this scooping around all of those bigger circles and had to sort of squeeze in between some of those letters on the title just so that it didn't look like I'd missed a piece and so next I'm going to use some of the bluebell bell pearls and I'm just going to place them at different points around the page again they just really add to that rounded bubble kind of look and just add that nice finishing touch and there we pretty much have a finished layout with um, a 17 year old boy blowing bubbles and enjoying that um, a, pa a pastime that he's often enjoyed as a, as a youngster and finding a bottle of bubble mix in uh, mum's sort of stash was a highlight of his evening. So there's a close up of it. You can see the shimmer of the holographics and here is the layout a little bit closer in at some of those pictures and some side on views so that you can see the texture. If you've enjoyed this video please subscribe below and I look forward to hearing some of your comments and thoughts. Thank you.